Hey, what's up guys? It's Infinite MB or EG Psychotic from Enhanced Gaming. Here to talk to you guys a little bit about something that our, uh, our company is starting out with. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're starting with a, uh, <clears throat> a Mosh Pit Monday. So, uh, like Mosh Pit Monday is a little different from what normal <laughs> people trolling. usually do. I mean, you usually see a Subscriber Sunday or Subscriber Monday, Tuesday or Team D Tuesday, Free For All Friday, lead. yeah, blah, 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 whatever. But basically, we're starting with Mosh Pit Monday. It's a little, something a little different from everyone else. Uh, so basically, what it is is uh, uh, every week on Monday, we're, we're going to post a clip. Either me or EG Bluff, and uh, we're going to post a clip of the best game we had for the week. And then we're going to commentate it, we're going to talk about different things, um, our thoughts about the new game, our thoughts about the servers, our thoughts about the guns, uh, game battles, competitive matches, uh, or just different things that you guys post to us. So, I mean, if you guys want something answered about our, us or what we do, then let us know. I mean, post it in the comments. I mean, post it on our page. Send us a message. Uh, um, send us a or tweet. Send us a tweet. Um, do anything. Post something on Facebook. Send us a message on Facebook. I mean, anything like that. I mean, we have our Facebook. We have our Twitter. So just let us know. I mean, we need your feedback. So anything you guys have for us is good. I mean, we'll we'll take anything. I mean, we'll, if it's good, tell us. If it's bad, tell us. If it's bad, really tell us. I mean. Anything you guys say to us, we're going to work on it. We're going to try to make better. I mean, we're new to the YouTube community, so we're trying to get big. And we're trying to get the subscribers out there. I mean, so basically, just let us know. Just send us a message. I mean, our gamer tags are uh, EG Space Psychotic and EG Space Bluff. So send us a message on Xbox if you guys have to. Um, yeah, so uh, any, anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the new game. What are my expectations for it? Um, my expectations are I'm expecting a break. I mean, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. It always comes out with great games, um, great guns, uh, just different things like that. I mean, it's a, it's, if you play Call of Duty, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just Call of Duty. You, it's undescribable. I mean, you guys know how to play. I mean, if you guys don't know how to play, just send me a message and I'll help you out. I'll play with you. I'll teach you guys a little bit about how to play and how to do the objective. Just different things like that. But most likely, Call of Duty's been around for a while. Everyone pretty much plays it now. So yeah, I mean, it's just... It's just so... Good. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how it's put it. Uh, uh, basically, another thing is... Uh, with the new game, I'm glad they did something. I'm glad they... Uh, Stopped uh, noob tubing from being so powerful. I mean, in Modern Warfare 2, I mean, even in this game, I mean, if you guys, if you guys were watching this gameplay, I mean, it's not the greatest gameplay, but you know, it's some good, it's some decent gameplay. I mean, people, I mean, my bad average gameplay is some people's best gameplay, but I mean, if you guys watch it, I mean, it's just noob tube after noob tube. I mean, I mean, shotgun after shotgun or quick scoping and sniping. I mean. There's just two things that I'm really glad that they did with this game, Mono Warfare 3, and I'm just so glad that they got rid of the, sh the shotguns as secondary weapons. I mean, what would you rather have? I mean, would you rather have a pistol, or would you rather have a shotgun as your secondary gun? I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm going to pick a shotgun over anything else in the entire world. I mean, a shotgun's a primary weapon, and you don't have to have overkill. So, basically... That's what I was talking, that's what I'm talking about. And the new tubes, I'm glad they decreased the power on them. I mean, they're not as gonna be, they're not gonna be as effective, but yet still used. A lot like what they were in Black Ops, if you guys ever played that. <clears throat> Another thing is, um, I'm glad they brought back the Overkill perk. I don't know if you guys ever played uh, Call of Duty 4 or uh, um, World at War, but uh, Overkill perk wasn't used that much. But I mean, it had its, it had its effective times. I mean, I remember on uh, World at War a lot, I used to use the, um, what was it, the PSG Sniper, Some, I, something like that. I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was called. And then I'd rather not use an MP4. Because, I mean, even with 
uh, overkill, the PSG still killed one hit. I mean, it was it was one of the most powerful snipers that has ever been in a game. And plus, also the battle, the um, battlefield. Goddamn, I got my head out, head of the gutter and shit. Um, the like the Barrett 50 cal is another one. I mean, if you're using a Barrett 50 cal in Modern Warfare 3 and you have overkill. I mean, yeah, it takes away another perk, but I mean, you have a sniper and you can have your shotgun like you did in Modern Warfare 2. But you take away a perk. I mean, you can't have a machine gun and a shotgun at the same shit. I mean, that's, 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 I'm sorry, to you know, but anyways, that's bullshit. So, uh, anyways. That's what I'm glad they brought back. Glad they brought back the overkill. Uh, another thing is, I'm glad they switched up the names of the perks. Everything's not the same. I mean, yeah, like, Call of Duty could bring out the same game every year, just change the maps up, and it would be successful. I mean, it's always going to be successful. I mean, it's Call of Duty's Call of Duty. It's just a big-name title. I mean, it's going to sell copies. It doesn't matter if it sucks or if it's good, it's still going to sell copies. So, yeah, um, I'm really glad that they changed up its names a little bit. I mean, it just switches up. It gives you a different atmosphere. Uh, and, I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever played, like, campaign the story goes, but in the different uh, Call of Duties, it's, the campaigns are amazing. Uh, it's just, it's a great feel. You get a great feel for the game and the engine and how it runs. I mean, I know with Modern Warfare 3, it's not much different from what Modern Warfare 2 is, but it does help you a lot. I mean, if you guys are new to the game, don't go straight into the multiplayer. Please don't go straight into the multiplayer, because I feel bad for just fucking raping your ass. I mean, I'm sorry, but you guys aren't going to come in and be successful. Anyways, try out the single player. You guys would love it. It's got a great story. Cinematic feel is just amazing. And I don't want to sit there and rape you in a multiplayer game. I mean, I'd feel bad because a lot of people, they don't go, they just jump right into the multiplayer and they don't pick it up right away like they do in some games. So they get a little frustrated and stressed. And you know what? I just, I don't want that to happen. So if you guys are watching this uh, and you guys are new to the game a little bit, let, let me know. I mean, I'll help you out a little bit, but I want you guys to run through the campaign. Uh, run through the new survival mode. I haven't really, I haven't played it yet. But run through the new survival mode. I mean, it'll. I'm sure that'll help you a lot. It's a lot like the multiplayer, but with some hit markers. UAV online. Well, anyways, guys, uh, that's the video. Mosh Pit Monday. You guys know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. I mean, we're gonna be here every Monday to give you guys videos. Thanks.